only person I can blame for my troubles is myself right now because if I would have watched a YouTube video before messing with it, I would have been better off. I Hello and welcome to Puffs of Thought. Um, as you can tell from the title of the video, I will be unboxing my Mount Dog ring light. Um, a lot of people have been talking about the newer light, I think it's called. Newer. Yep. Had to check on my computer really quick. Um, and unfortunately for me, a lot of the options were sold out. And so I took that opportunity to try something else that seemed to have great reviews. And let's see how I like it. So that is the box there. And I'm going to... Okay, so showed you the box. I have to set my phone down so you can see me opening up everything. Okay, so I just opened up the box. It was a box inside of a box. And so this is one item. It looks like there's a baggie. Push all that stuff over there. So this is the box. No uh, logo or anything on it. maker right here this is what it looks like without any filters or anything on it okay I'm just gonna press that on the box on the box inside the box okay so that was just the ring light so I'm going to assume that these other things in here Ooh, I opened that badly <laughs> So let me get all the filters out and then I'll show you when I start to build it. this is an 18 inch um, ring light and it took me a while to figure out how to get it to put on but now that I got it I got it let me see if I can show you this is for warmer tones and this is a cool uh, tone temperature I guess just changing the temperature of the light so that you can get a different look but I'm gonna use two on two cool on one side and two uh, too warm on the other side so that you guys can see. Bring that up. Let's slide these down. So I got three down. I'm wondering if I'm doing any 
open incorrectly, they should be on top of each other, some of them. Let's see, let's see. going to act the same if I use a different color. Pretty much. Hmm. If I put all white, how does this react? Okay, so it was a me problem. It does overlap a little here, but it was overlapping just a little more extreme just now, which means that I wasn't doing it properly. So I'm just gonna try that one more time, one more time, and try it with the warm tone. The warmer temperature light. right now cool warm and let me keep following these directions I also didn't mention that this bag actually has slight padding for your ring light which is pretty cool so I just want to point out something that just caused me a little bit of trouble because the directions are written so it's not like I'm watching someone else tell me what to do but this is how mine came and it had these two knobs like so on either side and so you have to unscrew the knobs like which like what you would do at a gym you unscrew the knobs and then you can pull this down and then you can tighten it again so for this one Put the knob right back on that screw. I'm trying to show you guys. But also not drop this expensive ring light. But yeah, you screw it just like if you're using a machine at the gym. Baby tidy lefty loosey. Sugar. You know none of mine. Life of the time makes me like the other half and makes me cry. She does this one more time. It is now six after six, almost seven o'clock. I tried to do this this morning. Um, this is day two of trying to put this ring light together. This is where I'm at right now. 
this is still step four. I'm irritated. Um, at one point, all of the nuts and bolts came out. Um, I had two of these washers in my hand, but I was able to put one back inside of here. So be careful as you're uh, un loosening these screws so that you can uh, move this. Do not allow the washers to come out because you're gonna create another headache for yourself. And I don't know when I'm gonna be able to use this ring light. And at seven o'clock, Beanie Man and Bounty Killer is going to have their verses on Instagram and I'm going to watch it. I'm not going to spend the rest of my evening trying to figure out this godforsaken light. I've looked at YouTube tutorials. I've called my daddy. <laughs> Stop the drama. Um, you know, I tried to ask my dad because he's good at putting things together, but he could barely see, you know, what I'm trying to show him. Um, so yeah. This is this is how I'm feeling right now. I probably have a million and one clips now of this to edit. I don't even know if I'm going to ever upload this because it's kind of embarrassing. I just feel absolutely stupid. I already know that I'm not a directions build a person like I just I can't build stuff I can't this is not the first time or the last time that I have been tasked with following written directions and it always ends in chaos and stress I'm stressed you know some people online will tell you that this costs like $60 and it's fairly you know affordable well, I don't know if they are price gouging now that everyone's home and everybody wants to get on YouTube. And I mean, great minds think alike. We're all quarantined. We're all trying to survive it. We all had goals of one day starting a YouTube channel or a podcast or photography or whatever it is that you're doing. So you took this opportunity to buy a ring light. This was at least $100. I don't remember how much it was, but it was like one something, maybe 120 and this included the 18 inch ring light. This included the carrying case, charging port, the tripod, um, stand for it, uh, the remote control, like, and like the, uh, the cell phone, the cell phone stand. So um, I'm, I'm just very irritated. You know, I, I'm looking at YouTube tutorials. I'm even, <laughs> Like in the comments of this YouTuber, what's her name? I'm gonna post her. Kiana Connors. Yeah. I'm I'm writing her and trying to figure out how to do this thing because she's talking about putting the washer and lining it up like this and I don't know. She didn't figure it out. She got hers working, I'm assuming, by the end of this video because she at least made it to step five and I'm still on step four of these stupid instructions. Honestly, I can't wait for the day where we all become so technologically advanced that instead of sending this crap, companies can send you a video. Hmm? I don't even know if I'm allowed to say that, so I'm gonna re-say it in case I have to edit that out. I hope that one day companies don't have to send written instructions and that they can send you a video tutorial of how to do everything step by step. Because I swear to you, I swear, I'm hot. Like, I'm just really over it, you know? And like, my entire living space is being monopolized by all of this stuff. Okay. I got the big box over there, which held the ring light inside of it. So it was a box within a box. That stuff over there, the stuffing paper. And for whatever reason, my phone isn't allowing me to, um, to turn the camera around while I'm recording. It's probably running out of battery or something. So that's also irritating. I should be using the selfie stick so this won't this clip won't shake so much, but I don't even care anymore. Like I'll show you the next clip 
when it gets done. And I'm sorry if anybody watches this video thinking that it's going to help them put it together because at this point, I don't know if it's ever gonna get up together. And I wanted to record a video tonight, but I guess I won't be. Maybe I'll do one tomorrow, whether or whether or not this light is functional because I don't wanna have a repeat of my past video. It took me two weeks to get that video up. I was trying to use a new uh, editing software to make it nicer for you guys, trying to get better at my uh, thumbnails and just trying to overall cr increase my quality of video production and I hope you all appreciate it you know I'm just starting out I have no uh, expertise in this arena so I'm just really trying my best and I, I want to be a, a more consistent and quality filled youtuber for you guys to follow so um I appreciate those of you who stumbled across my page and watch even a minute of my video that that means a lot so thanks it's 6 50 i'm gonna go pour me some appleton and listen to beanie man and bounty killer hi everyone so i just want to check back in with you all i was about to finally leave the house today at 3 29 p.m because I've been kind of lazy. Um, spoke to my sister on the phone and just was chilling. So it is a little dreary out. Kind of don't want to go out there because I think it's supposed to rain. You hear that? That wind is piercing. Yeah, I'm good, love. No, ma'am, I will not be going out at all at all and so there you see my little babies I was going out for them wanted to get some organic insecticide for them but I guess since that is not happening because I'm not going out there I'll try and deal with you my ring light my expensive ring light because it may not be expensive for like a legit photographer but it's expensive for me you know when it doesn't grow on trees and there it sits not assembled not together <sighs> let's do this several days later okay so now at this point it's apparent to me that i am procrastinating because I've had my troubles with the ring light. I am taking hours and hours upon hours before I return back to it. Um, this morning, what is it? Uh, the ring light came sometime this week. I want to say either Wednesday or Thursday. Then by Friday, I think I was messing with it. And today's Sunday. So maybe Saturday and Sunday, I've, you know, been having trouble with it. But like today, I. Today's Sunday and I have not touched it at all, but to move it into the corner because I need to be able to get around my apartment. But the box, everything, I've just left as is. And I really just wanna take this like one minute or two <laughs> to just let everyone know who's watching this not to be discouraged with getting your ring light. I know we all want to start YouTube channels and grow together and podcast or uh, you know, get into photography. What other hobbies you were thinking of doing before quarantine and now you want to take this opportunity during quarantine to um, explore them. I don't want my versus with this darn ring light to be a distraction or like to discourage you overall. I just want to say that because The only person I can blame for my troubles is myself right now because if I would have watched a YouTube video before messing with it, I would have been better off. I mean, obviously there's written directions. I've been following them before everything went awry because I don't want people to look at this and say like, wow, 
you know, she must be an idiot. I mean, I'm not a builder. I don't build stuff. My name isn't Build the Bob Puffs of Thought, you know? That was stupid. Hi, so I finally got the ring light together, but it wasn't me. <laughs> I had to call my coworker slash friend. You know, I've only been out here for like, I really need to do a get to know me video. I think I'm gonna do that next. Um, just so that you guys can have some more background to me. But um, yeah, I've only been out here for a few months, um, almost a year, almost a year, um, out in a new city. I'm out in Texas. And um, I'm gonna put all that in the video, but I just really want you all to see that the ring light is connected. Ah, ah. <laughs> like, that's what it makes me want to do because I've cried over this thing. Cried. I've cried over this ring light. I really have. And it's right here. It's right here. And so I'm going to try to put my phone in the, um, in the, whatchamacallit. I'm going to try to put my phone in, in the, the mount. That's what it's called, the mount. So that you can fully see. Um, let me show you what the light looks like. Um. Oh, before I do that, so this right here is the bane of my existence. Um, so all the directions and all the junk that came with it. This washer fell out. I have no idea where it belongs. And my coworker, who's apparently really handy, was able to figure this out with these one page directions. I even called Amazon to try to get support, like step by step on what to do with this thing. Um, basically, he used the tiny screw that was in my hand. He used that and it's on the other end of here. So it was on the other end inside and he used this to adjust. So fair warning, anyone, anyone who purchases a ring light, do not, do not, do not take these knobs off for any reason. I know on the diagram, on the diagram, it looks like it's telling you to take it out, but really it just says to loosen the knob. Do not take these knobs off for any reason, because if you do, it is going to be hell to pay to reconstruct this thing if you are anything like me and you're not a handy person because I could not for the life of me figure out how to screw something. I mean, you literally have this screw going this way and then you have the tripod screw going this way. I've never seen anything like that in my life. What happened to the male and female, you know, type of thing? They always tell you that with screws and stuff. Oh, this is the female head, this is the male. And then you put them together and they fit. This was not like that. And I don't even know if I fully grasp how he did it. I watched him. But I kid you not, if God forbid anything happens with this, I'm calling somebody else. So shout out to Aaron. That's my coworker and friend. And he saved the day with this ring light because I was going crazy. And I'm going to put this in like big, bold letters. Do not, do not, do not remove. So let's see how this ring light looks with my phone in the mount. I just feel so emotional. Like, oh my God, this ring light is so good. This is the cool temperature light. So these are all the white lights right now. Um, and I'm gonna pop them off really quickly and show you what I look like. Um, ooh, are we focusing? Are we focusing? And I'm going to show you how everything looks like with the warm light filters. But I love that you can, like, see me. Like, you can see my head. You can see my torso. 
that's really good. This is so cool. And it took me forever to get this up, you guys. I just want better quality videos. I just want really good videos to like make and like get me excited to do this stuff. So I'm so happy. Oh my God, I feel so emotional. Oh my God. Oh my God. Should I take this down a little bit? My lips look chapped. Okay, and I have the warm light on. So is it getting a little brighter? Woo, it's getting real bright right there. Okay, this is pretty good for me. It's not even full force, but I think this warmer light looks a lot better for this time of night. And I have all the other lights in the apartment off. Oh my God, it's so nice. I'm so happy. Y'all don't understand what I've been through with this ring light oh my gosh i'm just glad that this investment seems to be worth it and now it's on the tripod i don't think i'm ever taking it down i, do not. I have to move i guess i hope it's a sunny day This is warm, you guys. This is warm. You can like see the ring. This is 18 inch. Oh my god. Like it. I don't just gotta film in the morning because that's hard sometimes because that's hard sometimes for me. Uh, yeah, it's hard sometimes for me. Uh, but I get to do it in the middle of the night in the wee hours of the morning. Hey, 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 hey. Thank you so much for watching Pups of Thought. Like, comment, subscribe, write suggestions, what you want to see, what you want to know. You know, anything you want me to make a video of, I'm super duper thrilled right now to get to video making. So I'm just kind of excited to experiment and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching.